Hey guys, welcome back to another pack opening video. Today I'll be opening up two Chilling Rain Build and Battle pre-release kits, which I haven't opened up before, this is pretty exciting. And two Chilling Rain blister packs. So there'll be four booster packs in each of these boxes, and then these two makes ten. So we'll be opening up 10 booster packs of Chilling Rain total in this video. I also just wanted to show off a little bit of what I did today. I did a bit of demolition work at a house and found some newspapers from 1920 intact. It looked awesome. And I also found a coin. Let's see if the camera can focus. It's a King George IV coin and it is a one half penny from 1920 down the bottom there Commonwealth of Australia pretty good condition um, considering that it's 100 years old probably not worth anything significant but it's nice to have a piece of history also found this ring which was sterling silver and turquoise you can see it has a little bit of like an iron vein or maybe that's a uh, copper or something but that's definitely turquoise I took it to a jeweler and they told me that so I trust their appraisal probably not worth a lot either but it's nice to have some stuff that's really old and the last thing I wanted to show before we got into the pack opening is where I bought these from, I actually went to Ipswich and bought a card I needed for my collection of somebody, which is this Rainbow Rare Charizard GX from Burning Shadows. Fantastic condition. Really well looked after and he gave me a good price for it as well. Really happy with this. I'm just going to stick this in a top loader and put it up for display in the corner here while we do the opening. But this will be going to my Burning Shadows set. I might finally end up finishing it, which will be exciting. Alright, so let's get stuck into this opening. I'm going to do the Build and Battle box first. I don't know if you guys have seen any Build and Battle boxes openings or any of my previous Build and Battle openings. But inside of each of these boxes you get the four booster packs for Chilling Rain. And you also get a little pre-release kit of about 30 cards and a hollow that let you build a deck and play with other people who are using the same kind of tournament deck. And the promo we get is Cresselia. Cresselia, Chilling Rain. This is one of the better ones. People are using these in Psychic decks at the moment. The other one we want is the Inteleon. And the Persimian is also quite playable. There is also a Cinderace in here, which has some great artwork, but isn't really played as much at the moment because it's a stage two and is only really used for the attack. However, that could change. We could see some of the Cinderace put into decks, but we've got the Crescent Glow here. If you play this on your first turn, you can get three energy cards and attach them to your Pokemon. Very good attack for one energy. Cool little stamp down here with Chilling Rain. Really nice little card for the collection. And then we've got the four booster packs here. Might open them all up together. And the second box, we've got, let's have a little look. These items are made for the Build and Battle pre-release tournaments. So a couple of weeks before the set goes on for sale, you can go to a tournament, buy one of these, and you use that little plastic deck in here, plastic packet, build a deck with the cards you get from your booster packs and try and beat the other people for extra prizes like a couple of booster packs or something. Let's hope we get something different. 
Oh, we got the Inteleon. Nice. Okay, and then there's our four booster packs there. We've got the Inteleon. How cool is this artwork? Very nice. He's got the quick shooting ability. Putting two damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon. It's quite a strong card at the moment. And even though it is a stage two, it's definitely worth using in most rapid strike decks or any water deck or even just chuck it into any deck, really. Because it has the Drizzile. And the Drizzile has an ability called Shady Dealings from Sword and Shield Base. Very handy for getting you supporters and trainers that you need. And then once you're done with Drizzile, you just slap Inteleon and every turn you get to do two damage. Counters to anything. Very good pull here. Quite happy we got the Inteleon. And we're just going to open these ones up too. And then do our big 10-pack opening of Chilling Rain. These are our Blister Packs. Blister Pack luck lately has not been the best. So... We'll see how our pulls go with these. <laughs> okay. One, two, three, four. Mareep and Spiritum. Spiritum would be a good card to put into some decks, but I found that it just clogged up the decks when I needed like important trainer cards and items instead. It's really just a tech card that you can use to beat the uh, the new Night March variant or whatever it's called with all the uh, those weird attacks. What's it called? Mad Party. There we go, Darkness Energy, Reboot Welcoming Lantern, Gloves, Ladybug, Gusly, Rockruff, Inkay, Larvesta, Porygon 2, and an Agron. That's no hits in the, uh, the blister packs. Green codes as well. Have been getting some white codes with no hollows and green codes with hollows, so. Sometimes you just, you don't know what you're going to get. I also have seen that some of these packs can be weighed as well. So just be careful buying single packs out there. Make sure you buy off trusted sellers or blister packs as you can't weigh the blister packs. They're in cardboard. Porygon, Persimian and Rinrigus. Nice little hollow hit, and we got Persimian there. Nice. That's our first hit today. Maybe the uh, the build and battle kits will get us some uh, some decent pulls. Whatever this is, it's pretty well centered. Be interesting if it's a. Uh, a full art. I'd be very surprised if it was a full art. This set has been notorious for terrible quality control. Oh, and it's a Celebi! Oh, okay, where are our sleeves? Where are our sleeves? Our sleeves in here somewhere. I can't believe this. We got a full art and it was well centered. That is insane. The quality, the quality, I cannot believe this. Wow. We pulled the Celebi. Lugia, Charizard, and Celebi. We're gonna stick this up here until Leon and Cresselia can move over. We've got the Celebi pull, wow. I think that would make the uh, the video now. Pretty happy with that. Any full art that I don't have in my collection is really worth it for me. 
this Celebi is only worth probably $15, but I'm so happy we've got a pull. Oh, that's awesome. This card here also looks quite well centered. Quality on the back looks pretty good. So if that was also an ultra rare, I'd be very surprised. A two for two, Celebi and then some other ultra rare would be crazy. Both having great, oh, great centering. We've got a Galarian Moltres here. Galarian Moltres V, we've got another sleeve for that. And the score bunny reverse holo. So we got three pulls so far from the build kits. I think that the uh, the build and battle kits might guarantee you at least one holo hit or better. Wow, look at this, that's fantastic. Okay. Keep those there for a bit. This is our last pack from one of the build and battle kits. Bit of damage down there, at the bottom corner. Thwacky, Frog Crystal, Hatterim, Sneasel, Weedle, Farfetch, Cast Form. I need, I think, this one in reverse holo. There's a Zeb Striker. And a slurp puff. There we go. All right. So in that building battle kit, we got three hits. That's pretty good. Building battle kit number two. This card here is quite off centered down the bottom. So we'll see what that one is. We've got a Fog Crystal, Hatcherim, Drizzile, Rockruff, Ghastly, Ladybar, Porygon, Swirlix, Grookey. Oh! No way! What? Oh! <laughs> we got the alternate art Shadow Rider Calyrex V Max. What the heck? No way! Oh! This is the most expensive card in the set. It's the most playable card in the set, and it's the alternate art. It is the most expensive card in this entire set. Comparing this to Battle Styles, this is the equivalent of the VMAX Rapid Strike Urshifu alternate art. I can't believe this. We got this from the Build and Battle Kit! Oh, <laughs> that is so crazy. I can't believe this. Oh, wow. <laughs> Ooh. The centering on the front is pretty good. And on the back, it's just a tiny bit off on the bottom. But that's so good. Oh, I can't believe this. Oh. Oh, what? What the heck? I can't do any more. We've still got three packs left. There's just... Uh, I don't know if I can make it through the rest of this video. There we go. Right next to each other. You've done good for us. Thank you very much, Calyrex. You are bringing the pulls. Oops, there's the code card. Thank you very much, Calyrex V Max. Celio, I need Walrein Reverse, and there's a Serena, non holo rare. The only two regular set ultras I'm missing now are the Zeri Aura. And uh, one of the V Maxes, I think. There we go. Psychic Energy, Laron, Steeny, Rugged Helmet, Sphere, Hatena, Rockruff, Shoppet, Cast Form, 
Kung Fu and Amp for Us. Do, 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 do. Let's put this to the side. Put this over here. Okay, what's next? And last pack. Fighting Drizzile, Peony, Caitlin, Snova, Blitzel, Ghastly, Coughing, Deli Bird. Score Bunny again, and a Doug Trio. So in the last build and battle kit, we only got one hit. But boy, was it worth it. Oh, <laughs> look at that. This card could easily be worth over $200. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Oh. All right, guys, let's summarize these pulls. So from two build and battle kits, we get the Inteleon and Cresselia. From 10 booster packs, including the battle kits, we get the Shadow Rider, Calyrex VMAX, Alternate Art, Moltres V, Rune Regis Hollow, and a full art Celebi. Wow. I'd definitely go out and buy some of these. Guys, go out and grab yourselves some Chilling Rain build and battle kits. I'm telling you, the pull rates in these, you're at least guaranteed one. At least one hit in every box. One hollow or better. And you get a cool little pack here. You can play some games with your friends. Wow. Guys, thank you so much for joining me and sharing in this excitement. This has been fantastic. If you guys want to watch me open more packs in the future or share some of my collection purchase videos and just see what I do in my collection like this, definitely leave a like and subscribe to my channel and keep up to date with all my latest videos. Peace out, guys. See you next time.